everyone. This is Jeff from Central PA UFO and Space Research. I am uh, just getting started here on YouTube channel, so this will be my first video. So kind of bear with me if I work through the quirks here and the snags. But uh, I just want to start out with uh, giving you a little bit of uh, UFO stuff here. This is from the MUFON.com. This is the last 20 UFO recordings um, for the month of January. So far, it's the 9th. So most of it uh, looks to be on the West Coast. We have a lot in California, New Mexico, Utah, Colorado. But we do have some East Coast, Georgia, and even some Midwest, Mississippi, uh, British Columbia even. Um, now, I have gone down through here and looked at some of these images, and a lot of them are blurry. You really can't see much. I mean, we had a guy here, or a guy or a gal in Brooklyn. Um, I'll just show you a couple of these pictures. He claimed that he was trying to shoot Comet Lovejoy, and there was something that kept popping up somewhere in the bottom middle of the screen, he said, but I really haven't been able to picture it yet. But that's what that's all about. You can check all this stuff out if you go to MUFON.com, track UFOs. I mean, you can go clear back years and years and years. Um, I use it a lot to uh, do my UFO research. Um, it's one of the main sites that I go to. Uh, so, yeah, if you get a chance, go in here and check this out. Um, also, I wanted to go to this uh, latest news report. <sighs> comes from Australia. Now, they're uh, saying that they had this uh, UFO spotted over Canberra. Watch footage of a strange disc-shaped object film over the Australian capital. Now, I have this all pretty much already set up and ready to go. So, I'm going to click this and let you watch this real quick. Now, you want to be watching down in this area. Now, we'll slow it down so you can actually see it. Because at this speed you can't, but right here, here it comes. Right there it is. Looks like it's caught off an airliner. I'm guessing they're going to show this again. Yep, slow mo. It's pretty interesting. Don't really have a whole lot of clear footage on it. Almost appears to be this shape, but could be a drone too. I just don't see the wings like a normal drone would have. But I'm sure normal isn't what uh, isn't the best description of what we have as far as military goes and what they're not telling us. Well, here they bring it to you a little bit closer. What do you think that might be? So anyway, I want to show you that real quick. I'm going to go over here to another page. This is the NOAA homepage. This is for space weather. It's another one of my uh, interests. I'm really into space weather. Um, Mars, moon, planets, comets, asteroids, star, anything. Anything has to do with space. I'm always checking things out. And if you like auroras, I wanted to bring this up because this, uh, this is pretty neat. Now, I'm located in Pennsylvania, so I very rarely get to see auroras. But if you're in the Canadian territories, Alaska... And Norris, you definitely want to keep track of this. Um, I'm going to play this for you real quick. Now, this really isn't what uh, what I would say is awesome. The past two days, now, that was pretty significant. There was a lot of stuff going on. And a lot of people claim it's because of the magnetosphere collapsing in what it normally would be. Um, it was actually in the red, so there was probably a, one heck of a sighting up there as far as uh, Earth Watch or Skywatch, I'm sorry, goes. But you can check this out on those uh, National Weather and Space sites. Um, a lot of stuff there. It's swpc.noaa.gov. It's a really neat site to check out. And uh, I'm going to end this little clip with uh, a website that I write UFO articles for. It's called whatsupinthesky.com. Now, this is more geared to... Uh, Pretty much, they watch, uh, a lot of these guys will film Mars and the moon, and they'll, uh, like Will, the one that owns this website, he uh, checks things out. He's always watching and analyzing videos. Um, so if you ever get a chance, roll over to this site. 
there is tons and tons of good stuff to check out here now my articles will be right here in the UFOs I haven't posted anything in the past week and a half two weeks because of work and holidays and whatnot but there is just tons and tons of stuff being on here all the time all the time so if you get a chance roll over to what's up in the sky .com, check that out um, his page is on YouTube is what's up in the sky 37 so you can also check out some of his videos he analyzes there too so I'm gonna kinda leave it at that you guys have a good evening thanks a lot and we'll talk to you soon peace